Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. Welcome back to another What's for Dinner, where I'm gonna share three easy and delicious meals with you. Our first meal is a really easy one. It takes about 30 minutes or so. It is called Cheesy Chicken Broccoli and Rice Casserole. I bought fresh broccoli to go in this recipe, but I bought it two days ago at Aldi and I pulled it out of the refrigerator today and it already had mold on it and I was very disappointed. But it's okay, we're gonna roll with it. I'm just gonna thaw out these. I'm not gonna cook them completely, but I'm gonna thaw them in the, in the um, not in the refrigerator, <laughs> in the microwave and just kind of roll with it. The first thing I'm gonna do is preheat my oven to 350 degrees. I'm gonna get my rice on the stove and get it going since that's gonna take the longest prep time. Now that I've got my oven preheating, I'm just going to pull off about two cups of chicken off this rotisserie chicken. You, of course, could just cook your own chicken, but I was at Sam's the other day and these are $4.98 at Sam's. You can't beat that price, so that's what we're gonna go with. Our rice is cooking on the stove. I'm gonna go ahead and shred our cheese. Y'all know this is my favorite kitchen contraption lately because it's so effortless. This recipe calls for a cup and a half. I'm just gonna do this whole block, which will give us about two cups. So I've got our chicken and our cheese ready. Now I just need to kind of chop up these broccoli florets. Like I said, I didn't cook them all the way in the microwave, but I at least thawed them out. I'm gonna get them more in bite-sized pieces. The recipe calls for cornflakes. I could not find them at Aldi. I was hoping I would find like an Aldi brand of cornflakes. I could only find the frosted kind. So we're just going to improvise and use Ritz crackers or this knockoff brand, the great value brand of Ritz crackers. I'm just going to crush these up. Okay, everything's ready. Let's just assemble it all in here. That's one thing I like about this is I don't have to mix it all in another bowl. I can mix it all in here. Spray it. We need two cups of cooked rice. So I cooked a little less than a cup, probably in between a half and three fourths a cup. So what's that, two thirds? <laughs> we also need our two cups of diced broccoli florets. Two cups of chicken. One can of cream of chicken soup. half a cup of mayonnaise. I'm just going to eyeball it. You could also do, instead of mayonnaise, if you're not a mayonnaise fan, you could do sour cream. And our one and a half cups of cheese, but mine's more like two cups. I'm going to mix all of this together. Before I put my topping on, I am going to season it. I'm trying this, this was sent to me. This video is not sponsored in any way and they did not even ask me to talk about it, but I've been using it on a couple of different things lately and we really like it. Um, if you've been here for a while, you know I normally use Nature Seasons. This is similar to that, but it's a, you know, a small owned company. So I will tag them below so you can go check them out, but it's a really nice seasoning blend. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna do is just add my Ritz crackers on top. And I've got about three tablespoons of melted butter. And this is going in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. He wasn't in there for this one either. He's been working a lot lately, so when he was at work, I was in there cooking. So this is gonna be a complete surprise to him. Well, I love I love any kind of broccoli casserole. It's one of my favorites, so 
have fun. This is gonna be great. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's really good. Oh wow. This is really, really good. Yeah. I mean, this is this is a great casserole dish that you could do for like potlucks or yeah. you know, church get together or something like that. Yeah. I love how simple it is. It's like comfort food, I think. Tonight we are gonna make some homemade lasagna. This is a really easy recipe. I'm using the no boil noodles. And this recipe came from Kate from the Small Things blog. I'm sure most of you know who she is. I've been following her for years. I've been wanting to try this recipe forever and I just keep forgetting to. So tonight is the night. So the recipe does not call for onion, but we love onion, so. I'm just using half an onion. We need two cups of shredded mozzarella, which is one block of cheese. We're using eight ounces of Italian sausage and eight ounces of ground beef, so a half a pound each. While this is browning up, we're gonna add in our onion so it'll get softened. And I'm gonna add in some minced garlic. I've got six cups of marinara sauce over here and I am just gonna use this slotted spoon to take out my meat mixture and add it directly into the marinara sauce. Okay, so in this Ziploc bag, I'm going to add a block of cream cheese that's been softened and get my hands really messy. I need a cup of grated Parmesan cheese and I'm gonna use about half of this container of ricotta cheese. Close this up and just mix it all together. This makes me think of one of those stress balls. You know what I'm talking about? It feels kind of like that. Kind of cool. Okay, so let's assemble our lasagna. I'm going to spray this 9 by 13 pan. And I've got our no boil noodles. So I've got three on the bottom. I'm gonna add some marinara and meat mixture. We're gonna try this, this is take two. I've got some fresh basil here that I'm just gonna tear and put on top of that. the next layer. one last layer since this is our last layer we're gonna top it with this yummy mozzarella cheese
Now that I've covered this with aluminum foil, I'm gonna put it in the oven for 30 minutes and then we'll take the aluminum foil off at the end and bake it for just a few more minutes. I don't think I mentioned it, but we are baking this at 375. It's been 30 minutes, so I just took it out and took the foil off. Some of the cheese stuck to the foil, but we're gonna put this back in the oven for another 15 minutes. Now that it's come out of the oven, we're gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes before we cut into it. I don't know that I've ever made homemade lasagna, babe. I don't think so. Usually I just leave it up to Stouffer's <laughs> in the frozen section. Yeah, <laughs> it's good too. I think Stouffer's lasagna is way better. Um, this is, um, this is amazing. <laughs> this is terribly good. <laughs> this is really good though. I'm glad. Uh, outstanding job, it's really good. Very tasty. Mm -hmm. Gracie Lou, don't act like you didn't get some cheese already. Mm. I love the sausage in there. Yeah, so I've tried it now, and I have to say, this is delicious. Mm. I agree with Steven, I love the Italian sausage in there with the ground beef. And you can taste mm. that fresh basil too. Mm -hmm. It is so good. Tonight's meal is the third meal of the week, which means it is subby supper night. If you are new here, subby supper is just where my subscribers, my subbies, send in one of their favorite recipes and we give it a try. We not only try it, but we tell a little bit more about them. And then we also, of course, do the taste test at the end. If you would like to send in a recipe that you love and you think that we would love, I would love for you to email that to me at mandyinthemaking2018 at gmail.com. Tonight's subby supper is called Southwest Pasta and it is from Michelle. Michelle is from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. I hope I said that right. She even like typed out how to say that. So I think I said it right. Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Her and her husband, Don, have been married almost 19 years and they have three children. Don is a retired Navy chief and he is currently in IT. And Michelle used to work in law enforcement, but now she is a homemaker. She said that their oldest, Sean, is about to enter into the Navy in mid-August. So thank you so much for all of your family history in serving our country, that is so awesome. Michelle said that they love to travel. They also, of course, love to cook. And she said that she got this recipe originally from a Pillsbury cookbook, but she has adapted it over time, and this is her version. Thank you, Michelle, for sending this in. I can't wait to give it a try. We're gonna get started assembling the meal. It does include a little bit of chopping. I've already done that, so I'm gonna take y'all back in time and show you what all I chopped up. Gracie Lou, can you move out of the way? You're not supposed to be in here. No, you're not. No. I'm gonna bring our pot of water up to a boil and we will cook our pasta in here. So I've got this large skillet heated to about medium high. I've got a pound of Italian sausage. This is three cups of macaroni, which should be right about a pound.
Okay, now that our sausage is almost done, I'm gonna add in these chopped veggies. I've got a green bell pepper, an onion, and a couple small ribs of celery that have all been diced. So now our sausage is cooked all the way through. These veggies are nice and tender. I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of dried oregano. A little bit of salt and pepper. This is almost out. I've got one small zucchini that's been chopped. A can of diced tomatoes. I just chose the fire roasted. I'm having to change it up just a little bit here. I could not find just a can of diced green chili, so I'm just gonna use this Aldi brand Rotel. We need two cups of salsa, which should be about two thirds of this. One can of corn that's been drained and one can of black beans that I drained and rinsed. We're just gonna cook this until the zucchini softens up just a little bit, but we don't want it to get mushy. Now that this has come up to a simmer, I'm gonna put the lid on it. That'll just help it soften a little bit quicker. Our zucchini have softened up. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. We're gonna add in about three-fourths of this pepper jack cheese and stir it around. Michelle said it was just easiest if you just pour everything into the pasta. So that's what we're gonna do. This is a lot of food. <laughs> you hungry, baby? Oh yeah. <laughs> Gracie, what do you think? Huh? I think I want cheese. What do you think, Gracie? empty nesters this evening. <laughs> Cole will be home uh, probably within the next couple of hours so it's just us tonight for this big old thing of pasta but I'm sure Cole will partake when he gets oh, home. Yeah. But uh, let's dig in. Dig in. Southwest pasta. Mm -hmm. Definitely looks like Southwest pasta. <laughs> smells so good. Mm -hmm. Just loaded with veggies. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of kick to it too. I guess that's from the Rotel, probably. Rotel. Mm -hmm. Perfect kick. Mm -hmm. The spice is just spot on. Oh, and that pepper jack cheese too. Has pepper jack cheese spice. has a little kick, maybe, but I mean, tremendous amounts of flavor. Very, very good. Very well balanced. I love the Italian sausage with the Southwest flavors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's different. Like. Mm -hmm. When I was looking at the recipe and I saw oregano and then Italian sausage and I was like, but with Southwest? Right. Don't doubt it, just go with it. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely good. You got the, the richness of the Italian sausage and then you have a little bit of that cilantro. Mm -hmm. 
kind of brightening up a little bit, you know? Mm. Definitely some contrast there in flavor. Mm -hmm. It's really good. As far as thumbs up goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is really good. I love how easy it is. You just chop up the stuff, but you know what? If you're in a hurry around dinner time, just chop up the stuff earlier, mm -hmm. put it in the fridge, and you can kind of all dump it together. Mm -hmm. And it really didn't take long at all to cook. Um, so thank you, Michelle, for sending this in. I love your adaptation of this Southwest pasta. It's really, really good. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's worth of dinners. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did. Let me know which one you're gonna try first. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to join my YouTube family. Just hit that red subscribe button below. Thanks y'all, and I'll see you next time. Bye. We need a remote. There is a bug in my hair. <laughs> there was a bug in my hair. Bless her heart. <laughs> How are you gonna get that cheese in there? Well, pop it. You gonna do what? Pop it. Pop it. <laughs> pipe it. I'm going to pipe it. Why is that funny? What's Mackenzie's cat's name? Piper. <laughs> How are you supposed to say it? Pipe. Pipe. Do you have to do this too? Yes. <laughs> Learn from my mistake, make the hole in the bag pretty small. Otherwise, it does not look pleasant when it's coming out. What you in the bag for? <laughs> huh? Why don't you have to get, you wanna get in the bag? Wanna get in the bag? <laughs>